Please help me thank and welcome Harriet Sanford to the stage. Over the years, I've used my time on this stage to tell stories. My stories are always built around teachers and their students. I tell these stories to celebrate the myriad of ways educators help keep the promise of public education. Several years ago, I told a story about a text message from a student I taught over 40 years ago. Yes, I started when I was five. <laughs> Seeing his name in that completely unexpected text message, totally out of the blue, I instantly recalled his expansive smile and his generous heart and his seeming disinterest in school. Or maybe, as I said that night, it was my inability at first to find the right teaching strategy to which he would respond. But for those of you who know me, I kept plugging away until I found the key to unlock his love of learning. His text message to me read, Harriet Sanford, exclamation point. This is Elander Lewis. You br when you were my teacher, you brought this man in to help shape me up. Ooh because you were worried about me. It made me feel special and important. You were amazing and memorable. You helped lay the foundation for me to dare to believe in my dreams. Over the years, I've referenced Ms. Sanford and her belief in me. You just always seemed to know what I needed, a word of encouragement, a gentle loving touch, or someone I could relate to. So after I read you his text message, I showed you a picture of Elander. I hope it's coming up. Maybe, I don't know. But even as I showed you that photo, I dreamed of the moment he would join me on this stage. So tonight, let me introduce you to Elander Lewis, my student of over 40 years ago. Good evening. I hope I can make it through this evening in this com these comments uh, without crying. Uh, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. I am honored to be here and join in this celebration of excellence. I too am the proud product of public school education. <laughs> Albany High School, <clears throat> excuse me, Hackett Middle School, and where I had the good fortune and the kind blessings to meet Ms. Sanford, Arbor Hill Elementary School. A big reason why I stand here before you today is because of teachers like yourselves. Teachers who went above and beyond the contract that they serve or the T's and C's of that contract and their job descriptions. Those are the teachers that students always remember and sometimes reach back out to and come in contact with later in life. They are the ones that do more than teach us math or science or any other subject for that matter. They are the ones that do the little things, whether that's give a hug, provide hot chocolate on a cold uh, winter day. They lift us up when we are down. They are the calm and comfort in the midst of storms in our lives. They continually believe in, value, and encourage our unique selves. When Ms. Sanford was my teacher, my life was chaotic to say the least. With an alcoholic mother and an abusive father at home, school became my refuge, and Ms. Sanford became my savior. She helped me through that year, that, that, that year first and foremost, simply loving me just because I was her student. The unconditional demonstration of caring was the foundation that opened my mind to the joy of learning. Ms. Sanford gave me the courage to believe in the possibility of my dreams in spite of my circumstances. I will never forget Ms. Sanford. She helped a little boy from a project tenement 
believe he can change his stars. I now have a family of my own, and I reside in a county that has the highest median income in the country. I don't say that to you to be braggadocious. No, 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 not at all. I say that to you to say that all students deserve to have at least one Miss Sanford in their lives. And so, Miss Sanford, I want to thank you and all of you here who now are or have been teachers for the differences that you make in the lives of your students. One day, you too will get that same text message or that same phone call because you never know what a little gesture of hot chocolate or showing someone that you love them or that they should believe and dare to have the courage to believe in themselves and the dreams to aspire to be something more than their current circumstances. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So my message tonight is the same as always. Educators do not need to wait 40 years, nor do they have to be celebrated at a gala, although that would be nice. But what all educators can do is believe in each and every student, and that will, belief will be the most powerful catalyst for student-driven learning and the success that will follow. In that way, educators can celebrate every day. Thank you very much. Enjoy the evening.